Ben. Happening now, Athens City Schools is hosting its Special Olympics. And after a four-year hiatus due to the pandemic, students are now ready to show off their skills. News 19's Mariah Wiggs is joining us live from that big event. Mariah. Good morning, ladies. We're actually in the middle of opening ceremonies. A gentleman behind me is singing the national anthem. Let's listen in real quick. kicked off this morning here at Athens Stadium. You can see we've got a stand full of athletes ready to take their marks this morning as they compete. We have competitors ranging from eight years old all the way to adults here this morning. Events are going to go on and they're going to have com competitions ranging from the 50 meter walk and run to the 100 meter walk and run. They're also going to have many jabbings and or I'm sorry, there are more than 100 athletes here this morning. And what's really cool is athletes have the opportunity to participate in the state competition in Troy this year. Jessica Lynn is is the exceptional services coordinator with Athens City Schools, and she tells me they're prepared to make all participants comfortable so they can do their best. We have lots of fun activities planned, even outside of the track and field events. Um, we're going to have a sensory uh, van on site. So students who may need to take a sensory break during the day, um, they have a place that they can go. Also, all of our athletes will have a buddy. Um, so some of our school clubs, um, some of their members have partnered and buddied up with all of our athletes. And so they'll have a buddy that can take them to each of their events tomorrow and just have a fun day together with them. And this is the first Athens Limestone County track and field Special Olympics since 2019. We've got some slight rain coming down, but the spirits are certainly high. Like I said, opening ceremonies have started and we'll have a closer look later on this afternoon. But for now, reporting live in Athens, Mariah Wiggs, News 19.